Hello, 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 everybody. And welcome. We are just waiting to see. Um, this should be starting in about 10 minutes. I have been checking everywhere, and I don't see anywhere um, that it states that Lori's is not going to be shown. I know Chad's um, hearing that is scheduled in at... 3.30 Colorado time, which would be 5.30 my time, um, has been closed, so we can't watch that one. But Lori's that starts in 10 minutes um, is supposed to still be able to be viewed. Now, I've also come across some information that um, there's a new document, and it's a response to motion to intervene from Rod, Rob Wood and Lindsay Blake. The state is objecting to how Lori's trying to intervene unnecessarily. So I don't know what that's about yet. I don't have the document yet, but I will get a hold of that. And once I read it and find out what's going on there, I will let you guys know. But so far, apparently she has filed a document to intervene or something along those lines. And I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, but the the prosecuting attorneys have filed a response to her motion to intervene. So I don't know what's up with that, but we will figure it out. Um, for you, for those who have been following the Molly Tibbetts trial, um, Christian Riviera has been sentenced to life without parole. Um, no bail if he files, um, okay, what's this? Okay, so he's not even allowed bail if he files for an appeal. Usually you can apply for bail if you're appealing the court's decision. He is not going to be allowed bail at all. Okay, I'm trying to find... Yeah, so East, from what East Idaho News put out on Twitter, they're saying that it is, as far as they know, it's going to be televised. I've asked them if they're going to be there, and they don't know if they're going to have somebody there or if they're just going to be watching it too. Um, there is a Zoom link there. And like I said, I haven't heard anything yet, you guys, that it's not going to be televised. Not televised, but streamed, that we can stream it, so... As far as I know, I can stream it. Um, Stephanie, it seems to me like she's trying to sever the trials. is what it's sounding like to me. Like, I, I really don't want to comment too much on it because I haven't seen the document yet or read it. I'm just trying to get, so I can't get into the Zoom. Let's see if I can get in this way. Wait a minute. I'm working on it, you guys.
Um, I don't know if it if that's what it is, but usually a motion to intervene is like it's like a, another party that wants to join in on the action that wasn't first made part of the action. That's what I know of the meaning, but I don't know how that would fit. I know that she has tried to um, say that she doesn't want the, the trials joined. But for for her to have a motion to intervene, I don't I don't know what she's trying to pull there or she's trying to draw somebody somebody else. I haven't read it, so I could be getting the wrong information because it just doesn't seem right in my head anyway, from what I know, um, that there would be a motion to intervene. And to me, that's I know what it means here in Canada. It, it's you want to add somebody else to this trial or to these charges that weren't initially charged. Like you want to bring a third party in, basically. It, it just doesn't make sense. So like I said, I may be getting the wrong. Somebody might have made a misspell in when they sent me that. But um Usually it's, you know, a, a third party that has a state stake in either the proceedings or the outcome of the proceeding. Uh, I don't know. Until I see the document, you guys, I won't be able to comment fully on it. But that's my understanding of when you file a motion to intervene. It's basically entering somebody else, a third party, into the ongoing lawsuit already, the legal Findings like it, it just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, well, I might be able to get it here. Oh, here. Okay, sorry, guys. I'm trying to. My back door isn't working. <laughs> Usually I can get into this back door, even though it's blacked out. I usually, and they've either changed the code to get in. Mm. So we'll have to wait and see if I can get it on another platform here. Um, dot to dot, Mark Means didn't fight it. John Pryor didn't want it, but Mark Means didn't fight it when it was actually the prosecution that um, filed to have them joined. Um, John Pryor fought it. My, Mark Means said he had no problem with it. Well, Mark Means wouldn't have any problem with it because to him it's free co-counsel, right? Okay, so I don't know if my sister is here. She probably won't be here. She's driving back from Bayonne, so um, I don't think she will be joining in. She may be listening on her driving on her way back, but I do not think she will make it for this one. So let me just check again, see if I can't backdoor this Zoom. If not, I've got another place that I can possibly get it, so... If it's going to be, oh, there she is. She is here. Hello, sis. I'm hoping Gabby is the one typing as you're driving. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. Okay, let me go over to Twitter. Yeah, apparently East Idaho News is saying that it's going to be broadcast to the public. So it should be starting any second. And I don't see any movement on Judge Boyce's channel. So keep your fingers crossed, you guys. Okay, so it's this. 
Okay, so they're still on standby too. They're they're going live with this too. Um, and theirs hasn't started yet either, so. There's quite a few people over there waiting for it too, and it has not started yet. So while you're waiting, can you guys please just pop out of live chat, click that like button, come on back in. We will be starting shortly. It is on standby, so everybody is waiting. I keep refreshing the page so I get it right away as soon as it starts. Okay, so let me get this. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Okay. crap. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to, I don't know why it wouldn't let me share my screen, but for a minute there, it wouldn't. Um, let me just make sure that I can. Okay, let me just make sure that I can share this. There, so they're on standby, you guys. So they are still on standby, so this is not started yet I don't know why it has not started yet but everybody is waiting Okay, 
of Dot says, looks like YouTube would enable a feature where you could hit the like button without leaving the chat to do it, yeah. Maybe she flew the coop. <laughs> Pop rocks, honey, I'm home. Welcome home. What'd you do all day? And what's that lipstick on your collar? <laughs> Oh, you make me laugh, Pop Rocks. Um, like I said, they are still, I'll show you here. I don't want to show too much of this because I don't have permission to, to do it from this channel. Um, but this is Eastside Oho News. They are on standby too. Um, you can see here from East Idaho News, they're waiting to. So I'm kind of wa watching their channel so I don't have to keep refreshing on the other channel to see if it started yet. Oh, but I don't see it started yet. I don't really care about every, um, I don't really care about seeing Lori. <laughs> That's okay. Pop Rocks has got that covered. <laughs> um, I just want to know what this is about. Is she back? Has she been found competent now? That's what I'm waiting for because, oh, what's this? Oh, not yet. So one case could have ran a little later. Maybe they're having a problem getting her in. Maybe she's kicking and screaming. Who knows? Okay, so let's go over here. Yeah. Hmm. Everybody's waiting. Yeah, the last time there was any photo or anything taken of her is the one that I have in the... Oh, what did I do? In the thumbnail for this video. That's the last time she was in court and anybody snapped a picture of her. Oh, yeah, I'm checking all over the place and everybody is still waiting, so. She got a little heavy on all the jail food and maybe got stuck in the portal. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah. It, it looked like she had blonde streaks in her hair. So I don't know where she's getting the blonde streaking. I know that they make a lot of stuff um, in jail, like for makeup and stuff like that. They use all kinds of different things to make lipstick and everything out of colored newspaper or newspaper articles that have color on them. It's like some of the things, uh, there's videos on it. You could go on YouTube, um, uh, search for jailhouse or maybe jail house made makeup or something. I don't know. Yep, the dumbbell circus. Yeah, I seen um, a tidbit of that that um chad's kids are saying that he was framed he was set up and framed uh, 
Yeah, so East Idaho just tweeted that they're still waiting um, for the court's feed to begin. Yeah, I'm still waiting too. So maybe I can still get in the Zoom back door. It's just they haven't started it yet. But if need be, I'll, I'll stream it right from here. Okay. So KTVB says the judge may or may not go live stream and they use Kool-Aid. Um, I know Chad's is, has been closed, but Lori's had not. You should see some of the comments on the, on the Twitter. They're saying that, uh, Mark Means is, is trying to get the remainder of Lori's roots covered before she comes into the courtroom. Her, her portals begin finicky. <laughs> oh, God. Still no feed yet. And there's been no orders for this not to be shown. And I got the Vine link notification too that this was still going. So she's in here and makeup for her debut. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, no, they're in Fremont County. This is Fremont County. Oh, we're... Okay. We're on you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hang on, you guys. Oh, no. Sorry, you guys. I don't know what the hell I just did there. It's not letting me. It's, oh my gosh. Hang on. There. There.
Hang on, you guys. Uh, hang on. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know why the the volume is not okay. I don't know what happened there, you guys. They are done. Anyway, if you want the rundown of what happened, um, they were asking for a continuance um, for the evaluation that she's going under. So apparently she has not been returned to competency yet. They want an update on any progress that was made. Um, before the judge is going to order an extension on um, the treatment to, to bring her back to competency. So he's ordered them to get a rundown of what's going on, um, what has been achieved to this point. I don't know why that did that. Um, before he's going to make a ruling on whether he's going to extend time for the competency. Um, I hope that he does, because if not, this could be kiboshed for a long time. Yeah, I don't know what the sound issue is with this. I don't know if it was on the Zoom side, but when I shared the screen, I shared, I also shared the um, audio. So I don't know why it did that. I may have to change a different setup when I'm streaming videos. I don't know, but I will figure it out. Um, I know I didn't have any problems the last time and nothing has really changed. So I don't know what went on there. It could have been a problem on their end. I don't know, but I could hear it. And that's what they had said. So... Okay, so there that is, you guys. Um, the judge is going to want some more information before he decides whether he's going to extend the time um, that he's going to allow for them to bring her back to competency. So as I believe it is September 8th that she is coming back. Also, let me see. Yeah, September 8th. Um, we also have, um, which I will be covering, is Letitia Stout coming up on the 9th and 10th. 
So I will be covering that. But I will make sure that we get this issue fixed, whatever it is. And I don't know why it did that, but um, audio here. Yeah, see, I've got it all proper here. We'll figure it out, you guys. I'll do some test runs with it to make sure and uh, make sure everything is up to par for it, for the 8th and for Letitia's on the 9th and 10th. Um, Ernest says, I wonder why they didn't request a status report before today. Because um, they were entitled to 90 days. 90 days would have been coming up within the next week or so, I believe, if my calendar is right. Um, let me see the exact date here. Okay, so as of September 24th, it would be 90 days that she had been in there and she was, um, okay, please don't mention any other channels, Luby Lou, you've been asked before in other lives to stop doing that. Okay, just, that's it. Um, now I lost my train of thought. Okay, so uh, September 24th, it would be 90 days that um, Lori is in the facility. We will call it a facility. Um, so that's like one, two, three weeks out still. So yeah, it's about three weeks before the 90 days is up. So um, I could see why they did this today and want the judge wanting to know, okay, look at the 90 days is coming up on the 24th of September. Um, what's going on? Is she going to be restored or what? And it, by the sounds of it, the defense just wanted to extend it for another 90 days. So they didn't get that. The judge asked them for an update. So yeah, I got rid of them. Does just boom, not in the mood for that today. And yes, uh, Gannon, finally things are getting moving with Gannon. It's uh, Letitia's preliminary hearing um, starts on the 9th and 10th. And then Barry Morphew's back in on the 17th. So we've got a few things to go in September, you guys. Um, I'm going to get off here for now. I'm going to try and figure out this problem with the audio, why we had no sound. I don't know if it was on my end or if it was on their end. Um, I could hear it on the Zoom through my headphones, but it wasn't transferring here. So I don't know where the problem is, if it's within StreamYards itself or something else so with that you guys i'm gonna let you go get back to making dinners and whatever you are doing and if anything does come up i will let you guys know right away okay so thank you for joining in for this and at least we know that she's still in there so okay so until the next time you guys please take care of yourselves and please stay safe we'll see you again very soon bye-bye for now